What's going on, folks? Mike Singer and Tim Hyde with breaking news for your Friday. Class of 2024 running back Aeneas Williams has announced his commitment to Notre Dame over the likes of Alabama, Georgia, Ohio State, and many other powerhouse programs. Big get here for Marcus Freeman, Dylan McCullough, and that Fighting Irish staff landing the number 140 overall player and number 13 running back per the 2023, excuse me, 2024 on three consensus rankings. So, Tim, let, let's just dive into the film. Tell us what you see when you watch this young man. An active football player, Mike. He is uh, he's electric. I mean, I've watched his sophomore, junior, and you know, his senior highlights. He is uh, junior, junior, yeah, yeah, excuse, yeah, junior, exactly. I mean, we're talking 2024 again. We keep getting lost in this 23 recruiting class. We talk so much about these kids. He is uh, he's a heck of a football player. He, he really is another great one out of. The great state of Missouri, you're getting a guy with a ton of SEC offers. Put him up there. Well, obviously, you know, love who they got in the 2023 class. It's it's a heck of a running back get right here. He is explosive, really thick looking, get strong, strong uh, looking football player. Physical. Look at the cutaway right, the cutback right there. Great cutback run. He's He's everything you want in a really – look at that stiff arm. Great, great get for, for Notre Dame. I mean, can't say it enough. For a team that wants to run the football, they are stockpiling some running backs here to just keep going one after another here uh, moving forward in the in Coach Freeman's uh, you know tenure here at Notre Dame. Look at yeah. He, you know, he's he's from the great state of Missouri, like you said, but he's not playing the you know the bigger time ball in, yeah. in like St. Louis. Yeah. Like when you look at the the oppositions, usually you know a lot of little small white boys out there running. That's that's not usually a, a great sign of competition. Um, but but seriously, what should he do yeah. against not great competition? Absolutely dominate. Right. And in nine games, scored thirty four touchdowns this season. Like he, he, the dude had six touchdown games all the time, and I'm sure it'd be a lot more scores you know, if they weren't blowing out teams. So um, he's. He's been dominant. And then at the camp setting, Tim, um, and, and a little bit later on this video, we'll we'll show yeah. some film of Irish invasion. Oh my gosh. It looked like a million bucks. Yeah. He seriously, you know, he went into that camp without an offer from Notre Dame and ended it with one because he just was he, I mean, guys, like seriously, you know, he he really um is a fantastic um football player. And Tim kind of fits the mold of like since Lance Taylor got you know got to Notre Dame and, and then Dylan McCullough, this mold of these running backs where they're just so versatile, you know, like he he reminds me of a little Kyron. He got some Kyron Williams in him, um, just kind of that all aroundness to his game. Um, oh, I agree. Yeah, go ahead. No, I was gonna. Say, I agree. Just watching his film. I mean, this looks like. Kyron Williams against UNC in 2021. Watch it, watching this uh, highlight film. Great hands. That's the other thing I, I remember. I mean, he was one of the, the hot topics. I remember you talking about, you know, when you were out there for the camp in South Bend of his him catching the ball, his, his playmaking abilities out there, all the drills they did with him, how impressive he was at the, the camp there in South Bend. So he's a heck of, yeah, he's an all around football player. He's a guy that could do everything. You know, as, as, as big as, you know, um, uh, Estime is and whatnot, we think of as a big bruiser guy. Estime, has got beautiful hands. He'll go out there and catch a pass in a heartbeat. So, obviously, Diggs has that. You know, we're expecting Jeremiah Love to obviously do that when he's coming to Notre Dame. Athletes that could go all over the field, make plays at multiple spots, um, you know, catching the ball, running the ball. And he's he's just a physical – he looks like a dude that's ready to come and play college football with the way he's already built. Doesn't look like that guy who's got to sit around for a couple of years trying to learn how to, you know, lift and whatnot. He he looks ready to roll here in 2024. Yep, all four of the major ranking websites do have him as a four-star prospect. And what's interesting, Tim, I met him for the first time at a seven-on-seven camp in Atlanta, and um, his teammate Xavier Hamilton um, was a player Notre Dame was recruiting in the 2024 yep. class. So. You know, I was hanging out with that seven on seven team, you know, to, to kind of get to know Xavier a little bit. Um, and then the seven on seven coach says, Hey, you need to you need to meet this Aeneas Williams kid. Yeah. I think he's the best running back in the 2024 class. I'm like, all right, you know, like sure. You know, I, you know how many times I've heard this, you know. Kid had Oregon, I think Oregon offer at the time, but Oregon had offered really early, and then they had the coaching change. You're like, Yeah, is that offer 
you know, is that a legit offer at that point? And I think Nevada had offered him. So it's like, all right, yeah, he's the best running back in the country. He's got one and a half offers. And then he goes to Alabama and gets an offer from Alabama, yeah. right? Goes to Notre Dame the two or day, one, or, one or two days later, gets an yeah. offer from Notre Dame, and then just exploded Aeneas Williams did. So yeah, he still might not be the the best running back in the country. You know, I know Rivals has him as the all number one all purpose back. Um, but like he's definitely up there. Like he oh, is yeah. an outstanding football player, Tim. And uh when you just look at Notre Dame's running back recruiting, you know, as things you know, stand as we record this, what happens with Notre Dame's 2023 classes kind of still be to to be determined. Um, but you know, looks like they'll they'll definitely sign Jeremiah Love, right? Jay Lamar. Um, we'll see. Well, Oregon's after him, but um, you know, you ha- you have Logan Diggs and Audrey Gastame from that 2021 cycle. Jabran Payne um, is yeah. a promising young running back. I think Jadarian Price would have played a good bit this year if he didn't get yes. injured. And then you know, Jeremiah Love, maybe Jaden Lamar to Aeneas Williams, and I think they'll take a second back in this class as well. So it's pretty good at that position as well as. What about like Brandon Hillman, Notre Dame's athlete commit in this class? Does he play some running back? So again, a lot of lot, yes. lots to like about that position right now. Oh yes. I mean, I mean, when he's you know, when he arrives, you have you know Diggs and Estimate going into their senior years. What are the odds of them being there as a senior running back, right? Are they gonna do what Josh Adams did, leave after his junior year, go for the NFL? You know, obviously, uh, you know, the same thing with uh, Kyron Williams. So, so do they do that? The bodies that they have. Price, you know, Payne is one of those. Payne, when we talked about him, the real Payne, outstanding football player out of the Cincinnati Catholic League, high end football, really good football player who earned playing time at the end of the year, got on some special teams for his development over the year. So that shows you the Notre Dame staff truly believes in him. Then obviously with Love, Price, if he comes back fully healthy, you got a loaded running back room again in 2024 without Tyree estimate digs let's say they're all they've all gone pro that's still a great group of football players that notre dame is recruiting to keep this train rolling here at the running back room and and have this russian offense never miss a beat moving forward so he is notre dame's seventh commit of this class you got he's joining the players up on the screen here cj Carr, cam williams jack larson peter jones owen wayful and carson hobbs just real quick tim thoughts on on this class seems like a, a pretty strong start overall for notre dame Yes, fantastic start. Really good football players. You got obviously one of the premier quarterbacks, wide receiver. When he committed, what, what did we talk about? How's this guy not going to be a top 10 football player? Now look at him blowing up with Cam Williams. Outstanding. He looked like an SEC football player the first time I watched his film. Larson is your typical Notre Dame tight end guy, right? He's going to go out there flexed out. Great receiver. Peter Jones. He looks like Tommy Kramer to me, just a big mauler. He's going to be a future right guard right tackle prospect. Owen Wafel is a tank, people. If you have not watched his most recent film, watch it. He is relentless out there. One of the best football players I've seen on film. And Hobbs, you got, you're got you getting a, a big-time corner out of the state of Ohio. So I've said it all along. I think the 2024 class could well, you know, be better than this 2023 class, Mike. I do. That's just been the, the path, the history of Notre Dame, what's – the head coach gets in there and he's got another full year of recruiting. It could be another banner top five class, which on top of 23, 22, Notre Dame just keeps compounding athletes on athletes as uh, Marcus Freeman builds his football program. So there you have it. 2024 running back Aeneas Williams committing to Notre Dame over some big time programs. I got to talk to Williams before he announced his commitment um, about making that pledge to the Irish. You can find that article and more analysis over at blueandgold.com, $10 unlocks premium access until the start of next football season. So more details for that over at blueandgold.com. Appreciate you folks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.